here we go everybody we just got that release on eBay printing right now at 5527 you can see it I just want people to know that the inner day high was only 5683 but it's going in the wrong direction and I guess I'll tell you why because e eBay the guidance on eBay we're printing 54 and a quarter right now that headline number that makes look at the revs are 3.8 to 3.9 billion versus 3.96 billion capital IQ consistent consensus they reaffirm fiscal year 2013 though but here's the deal one of the things that we would like to talk about the eBay story it's not all doom and gloom we had some intraday lows down around the 5450 area so what I will say is that as they go through the conference calls we're gonna find out what the true story really is so basically the earnings in my view were a little bit light like anything else we have low growth in the USA but the company is going to issue downside guidance for Q2 they see an EPS of 61 to 63 versus the 60 cents that was the consensus by capital IQ that was there that was a consensus was 66 so they're gonna go uh, 61 to 63 q2 revs are 3.8 to 3.9 billion versus the 3.96 billion of the estimates so they're a little bit light around in there they're going to say that for they're gonna see an EPS of 270 to 275 now 270 to 275 the consensus was 275 so they see fiscal 13 revs of 16.0 to 16.5 billion versus the 16.39 billion capital IQ consensus. The PayPal business delivered strong first quarter performance with revenues increasing 18% to 1.5 billion. PayPal gained 5 million active registered accounts in the period and into the quarter with 128 million at 16% increase. PayPal's net total payment volume, TBV, grew 21% to $41 billion, driven by consumer and merchant use of PayPal, both on and off. Now, we had talked about this a year ago, what eBay would look like once they got this PayPal building out. This is one of the most important parts. The company's marketplaces businesses also delivered strong first quarter performance with revenue increasing 13% to $2.0 billion. Marketplaces gained 3.9 million active users in the period and ended the quarter with $116 million, a 13% increase. Gross margins volume, GMV, excluding vehicles, increased 13% to $18 billion, reflecting the continued improvements to eBay's core technology design to make it easier and faster for consumers to shop and buy. That's what they do. Sold items increased 12%. Fixed price GMV grew 17% globally and represented 68% of that total GMV. U.S. GMV excluding vehicles increased 16%. As mobile engagements and momentum in fashion and tickets were key drivers of growth. International GMV excluding vehicles increased 11% to 11 billion marketplaces continue to invest in innovate and most importantly expanding its addressable market both locally and globally non gap operating margins increased 27 0.4% in the first quarter compared to 26.9 for the same period last year. The company repurchased 447, so it would be 476 million of common stock in the first quarter of 2013. They were very confident in their business model to have bought and their repurchase buyback program 476 million of its common stock in the first quarter 2013 MMTs we like this we're gonna be dips on the buyers it'll be in a pricing range the earnings reflect what a lot of companies are going to say during this quarterly earnings and the stock is only down a couple of dollars in after hours we're gonna be looking at buying the dip and selling the rip 